Welcome everybody to our team um, science call. I'm so excited to have everybody here today. Um, we're dropping in the chat where all we are from. I was just teaching um, somebody the other day about like the biggest businesses that we have in each state. And so I love finding out where everybody is, is tuning in from. So today we are gonna be talking all about how do we avoid holiday weight gain and how do we avoid putting on the holiday pounds not only because of the decadent food that we tend to eat during the holidays it's also um it's also the fact that we're under a lot more stress um how many of you are totally ready for christmas put it in the chat and how many of you feel like, like Christmas is in 10 days? You are lying. Um, pretty ready, ready. Yeah, you guys are way better than I am. I realized this morning, I realized like late last night that I still needed like 15 gifts. And so I spent all morning running around getting gifts. See, Corey, we are soul sisters. Paige, soul sisters right there. Bobby, uh, yes, it, it is in 10 days, in 10 days. So how many of you have holiday plans this weekend? Um, and where are you going? What are, what are you doing? And how can we avoid our, our holiday weight gain? Well, one of the biggest things that we can do is simply stay active. You know, whatever you are currently doing, as far as your walking routines as you're getting out of bed routines whatever is simply stick to them so that you don't fall out of your normal routines and so even as little as two minutes of walking after a meal is enough to dramatically drop your insulin and your glucose levels following a following a meal. And so that is, I think, extraordinary because most people think that it's like, you've got to do 30 minutes of walking. You've got to do all of this. And insulin is a fat storage hormone, right? So if we're able to help bring down our blood sugar, help bring down our insulin levels, we can help to avoid that those holiday pounds. So getting up, going out walking first thing in the morning, so good for your circadian rhythm as well. Um, getting outside into the sun uh, before 7 a.m. can honestly transform your whole day because it wakes you up and it also triggers your body to, to recognize when does the melatonin need to go away and when does adenosine need to go away. And so that is one way that you can get up, get moving in the morning, and then also think about getting up and walking immediately after meals, especially if there are, are really big meals. The worst thing you can do is um, go and lay down after a big after a big meal because it just it just keeps your it keeps you in fat storage mode. Does anybody do like uh, turkey trots? Does anybody do like five Ks around the holidays? I know um, last weekend um, Beth and I were in. Nashville and there was the Santa 5k and I was like wow these people are dedicated there were people finishing that race in 20 minutes flat it was impressive um and so stay active is the first way that we can avoid our holiday weight gain the other really bad habit that we have during the holidays is we go from eating meals to grazing all day long right? And I'm not dogmatic. I don't think that every diet is appropriate for every single person. Some people can intermittent fast. Other people cannot. Um, some people do really well eating six meals a day. Other people gain weight. But we do know that when the gut does not have time to rest throughout the day, your gut doesn't function as well as it could. Um, Dr. Shilpa Saxena, one of my mentors in functional medicine, taught me 
the gut wants to work like you do. You want to work eight hours or less a day. So does your gut, right? And so if you can consolidate your eating window by any amount, even if it is, you know, doing a 12 hour fast is fairly easy for most people. Um, not eating two hours before bed, not eating two hours after um, waking is somewhat doable. But if you can stretch that eating window and narrow it down a little bit more, it does have some benefits as far as avoiding weight gain. Now that said, how many of you are the people that you wake up and you are starving? Like food is happening. There is no such thing as intermittent fasting. So I, I listened to um, a Mind Body Green podcast the other day about how to deal with that when you're like, I can't, my cortisol levels go up if I do not eat first thing in the morning. Um, what you can do is they said, you know, you feast, you eat a medium sized meal in the morning and then your biggest meal is in the middle of the day and your smallest meal is dinner. We honestly have such a bad culture because we all like going out to big fancy dinners and we all want to eat our biggest meal of the day in the evening when that is honestly the most unhealthy time that we can that we can do it. And then just be aware you're going to be facing spreads of food where there are lots of healthier options and lots of really decadent options, right? Um, so if you can have the discipline to drink water before you go, because we don't want to be drinking a ton of water while we're eating because it dilutes our digestive enzymes. Um, you can take digestive enzymes before you eat. Amare has a great digestive enzyme that I really like. I actually take the digestive enzymes on an empty stomach first thing in the morning or right before I go to bed so that everything can be digesting not only what's in my stomach, but also working on a more like cleansing kind of pathway. So digestive enzymes are kind of cool because when you take them with food, they're going to help you to digest that food in the immediate sense. But when you take digestive enzymes, when you are fasting, it actually can help with more lower GI um, where you can because we have a lot of like kind of unprocessed food in our small intestines. Um, and when we take digestive enzymes on that empty stomach, it's going to get down and help to clean out some of that. So it's a great combo with, um, with Amari's Reboot, which you can get um, for free with the purchase of, of a Happy Juice pack, or perhaps you want to, by the end of this call, we will have talked a lot about GBX Fit as well as Edge, which is the transformation pack. So you could always throw in a digestive enzyme to go along with it. And then you would also have your, your reboot coming your way as well, because, you know, we all tend to eat cleaner, um, in, in January. Now that said in Chinese medicine, January is the absolute worst time of year that you can attempt to lose weight. And so even if you are, dedicated, clean, clean eating, exercising, drinking plenty of water. You got your mineral salts baths, you're moving your lymphatic, all of the things. Don't be disappointed if the weight doesn't just like fall off, right? It may take a while for it to, it may take a while like into the spring, but don't allow that to dissuade you from having good discipline now, which can lead to, you know, greater habit formation and moving down, um, moving down the pathway towards health, just one step at a time. So those are some options. Be sure that you're, you know, choosing fruits, nuts, vegetables, seeds, things that don't have added sugars 
um, are going to be really important. And I've been researching a lot um, because, you know, February is coming up. We start talking about American Heart Month and mental heart is one of what I consider to be the unsung heroes of Amari's product line. And if you are eating a lot of added sugars, you're also putting your heart at risk because we used to think of heart disease as a, a, a fat disorder. But what we're actually learning is that the risk factor for cardiovascular disease is directly correlated with the consumption of fructose because fructose drives the production of uric acid and uric acid is actually what's causing most of the cardiovascular disease that we have, which is crazy because we don't even test for uric acid unless gout symptoms arise. And so what's happening is when you eat added sugars, it is um, it is going in and creating fatty infiltrates inside of the liver. And when the liver slows down, the body slows down, right? And it leads to all of this cardiovascular disease. It leads to congestion in the liver. And it also leads to an inability to lose weight because you are not eliminating properly if you're not able to clear your drainage pathways and move everything, move everything through. So I, I think I've taught on the science call before, remember how drainage pathways work, right? So you have your cells drain to the lymph, the lymph drains to the blood, the blood drains to the liver, the liver drains to the gallbladder, the gallbladder drains bile out into the gut, and then the gut produces the ultimate, um, the ultimate elimination. And so that is our main pathway. There are other pathways as well. Um, my friend yesterday, I was interviewing her and she said that the skin is like a third kidney. Um, and so we eliminate via our kidneys. We also eliminate via our skin. We also eliminate via our breath. And so um, those are all of the elimination pathways that we can work on. And But your primary one is your gut. And the primary supplements that Amari offers to help with elimination specifically are Reboot as well as the digestive can help as well. And so are there any impact um, of enzyme production when you supplement with enzymes? Not in my research, and someone correct me if I am wrong, but not in my research. We don't see that same research um, as far as there being, as far as there being like suppression in melatonin production in some people when you supplement with melatonin, but that's also because melatonin doses have gone psychotic over the past um, few years. You know, we used to see melatonin doses that were one milligram, two milligrams. Now we see melatonin doses that are like 50 milligrams. It's, it's, it, it's absurd. Um, what happens when the gallbladder is removed? The liver drains to the gut, right? But you're missing the bile and the bile is so, so important for your digestion. And it's also very important for the health of your microbiome. And so, um, Amari doesn't offer like a bile specific supplement, but I bet, let me look um, on my other account and I bet there, there are certainly bile supplements that you can use if your gallbladder has, has been, has been removed. And so those are options as well, because the bile is very important for the nourishing of the microbiome. Um, it helps in, it helps to, um, cleanse the microbiome as well as hydrate the the microbiome and so okay um are there are there benefits to taking enzymes before each meal yes um or do you take them one time or twice a week yes digestive enzymes are just very simple supplements they do exactly what they say that they will do um and so 
it doesn't bum me out if you are someone who maxes out your dose and does two capsules three times a day, or if you just say like, ah, I'm just going to save this for when I overeat or what, whatever. Um, and so just take inventory of how well your body is processing. Um, and one way that you can assess how well your body is, is processing all of your food is to take an assessment of how good or bad your breath smells in the morning. Um, if your breath smells really bad in the morning, you may want some more digestive enzymes to help break down and move that food out. Um, can one take too many enzymes? Girl, you can OD and die on water. Um, and so, yes, you can take too much of anything. Um, so the labeled dosing um, for Amare's digestive enzymes is up to six capsules a day. That said, if you, you know, took a little bit extra, it's not the worst case scenario because digestive enzymes are in general, very, very safe supplements, you know, um, compared to, you know, there's some really rip roaring like thyroid supplements out there, hormone supplements out there that you really don't want to take too, too much of. Um, okay. Another thing that you can do, another tactic that you can do to help you avoid holiday weight gain is just watch your portion sizes. You know, um, if you have, I remember my plate at Thanksgiving. I was almost embarrassed by it, except I wasn't. Um, it was just like piled with food. Now it took me three meals to eat it all, but it was one of those things where I, I could have been more judicious and chosen only to put on my plate what I was going to eat at that meal. But there is something decadent and wonderful about having a really full plate. But just watch your portion sizes. I also encourage you, um, I, I, I've already said once, don't drink a ton of water with your meal because you're diluting your digestive enzymes. Um, but do drink water before you come because oftentimes when we think we're hungry, what we actually are is very thirsty. And so that can help you as well. Implement the Japanese tactic of always stopping eating when you are absolutely no more than 80% full. And that is, takes some mindfulness. Uh, we tend to be very distracted when we eat and we don't pay attention to how full we are until we're in pain. You don't want to be that guy, you know, you don't want to be in pain dealing with um, overeating because it is really uncomfortable. And when that happens, again, pile on your digestive enzymes, um, but plan for it, you know, plan for it, minimize your distractions while you're eating, take a few deep breaths, maybe express some gratitude um, for your food. There's also a book that I love. Um, it's an author, honestly, that I love. Her name is Janine Roth. And she wrote a book called Women, Food, and God that I really, really like. And she also wrote a book called If You're Going to Eat Out of the Refrigerator, Pull Up a Chair, because she's all about how do we get more mindfulness in our our eating um in our in our in our eating patterns even when our eating patterns are very very um disorganized such as eating directly out of the fridge or like standing in the fridge and just munching on things or um and sometimes I'm guilty of this too eating out of the skillet instead of like putting it on a plate and sitting down um Janine is really a, a wonderful author in helping people to transform those habits. And I love what Bobby says. My dad says, um, you know, the, the eat until you're no longer hungry, not until you're full. Right. Because it takes time for the food. So the way that we engage our fullness receptors 
is by we have density receptors and stretch receptors in the stomach and that is what governs the balance between ghrelin and leptin which are the two hormones that help us to balance our satiety and so the ghrelin and leptin signals don't get triggered until there is the density in the gut in the stomach as well as the stretch in the stomach and so ways that you can engage your density and your stretch receptors more effectively is start out by eating the food that takes up more room, right? Um, there's also great evidence about how to eat foods in order. And we know that leading your meal with either veg or with your protein instead of carbs is going to also help to mitigate the insulin receptors. And it also adds the bulkier food. So your big leafy greens, your salads, get those in your belly first before you start adding in your carbs. And it can help to engage the density receptors and the stretch receptors in the stomach, um, triggering the release of, of uh, leptin and helping you to send those satiety signals. Um, Another big cause of weight gain around the holidays is lack of sleep. And lack of sleep can be really difficult because you've got, you're staying in different places, you're, you know, traveling odd hours, all the things. So you may want to get your sleep plus onto your agenda and onto your schedule. I love Amare Sleep Plus because it doesn't contain melatonin. It contains an ingredient called corn grass. And the corn grass goes into your body and it's adaptogenic. So depending on if you need more melatonin, it will help to provide the building blocks to make melatonin. But if you need more serotonin and you got enough melatonin, then it'll drive towards serotonin instead of instead of melatonin. And so Sleep Plus, I I think is a an extraordinary supplement that works very, very, very well. And so in addition to the corn grass, you also have this um this plant called Griffonia simplicifolia, which also helps to provide some precursors to serotonin production. And so you're getting two things that can help to support melatonin and serotonin production. And people who take Sleep Plus have greater sleep quality, so they're getting more restorative sleep, as well as better sleep efficiency, which is the combination of how quickly you fall asleep and how well you stay asleep. Um, People tend to fall asleep about 30% faster and wake up about 30% less um, when using Sleep Plus. So if you don't sleep, it causes our cortisol to go up. And when cortisol goes up, cortisol says we need you to eat. So that is why it is so important to get good sleep during the holidays to avoid the the holiday the holiday weight gain. Um, inadequate sleep is also linked to lower metabolism um, because it alters your biological clock, um, and it alters your biological clock because it throws off cortisol and cortisol is the stress hormone. Um, if you've heard me teach anything uh, about hormones, cortisol throws off the whole hormone cascade, right? It throws off your thyroid. It also throws off your um, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, right? So we've got happy juice that can help with stress. We also have GBX fit, which can help with inflammation in the belly, which can cause some stress as, as well. Um, how long does it take to work in general? I find I fall asleep almost immediately. How is it possible? Um, well, if you're falling asleep immediately, 
you know, then you may not need a sleep supplement. I mean, not every supplement has to be perfect for everybody, right? Um, so it's non-GMO, it's not corn, it's corn grass. It's a distinctly different um, ingredient. And so um, I learned the other day some more mechanisms by by which stress like destroys our, our bodies. And so stress harms our thyroid because it drives instead of towards T3, it drives towards reverse T3, which means that you're not going to be getting good thyroid. If your thyroid ain't working, your metabolism is not working, which means that you are going to be more prone to weight gain. We also see weight gain related to the imbalance of estrogen and progesterone and testosterone. And so progesterone can either be um, produced or you can go down another pathway that produces the glucocorticoids. And so when we're under stress, we keep getting into more and more stress. And I agree with Bobby, the quantity of sleep does not equate to quality. And so if you have an aura ring or a whoop, or maybe you have earned a um, an Apple watch because of the Love Your Journey prizes um, with Amari, you can track your sleep and be sure that you're getting good quality sleep, not just quantity sleep, because we also know an overabundance of sleeping can be a sign of um you not being as mentally well as you could if you are laying around sleeping all day, all day, every day. So um, we talked about protein, get that protein early in the meal before you have your carbs. If you're going to have carbs, can you focus on getting fiber from your vegetables, your fruits, your nuts, um, add seed fiber into all the sneaky places. You know, you can put seed fiber into soups. You could put it into cookies. You could put it into cake. You could make it into, um, you could add it into protein balls. Like the seed fiber is very, it's a very adaptable supplement that can really help you to feel fuller longer. Plus Fiber is what maintains the hydration status of your microbiome. So the more fiber that we have in the diet, and we want both soluble and insoluble fibers. Um, and so you can get both of those from the seed fiber. Um, importantly, I think that most people underdose the seed fiber. The dose is two scoops. Same with the protein powder. Like if you say, I don't want to overeat at this family gathering that I'm going to. So I'm going to make a smoothie a couple hours before I go so that I've got already some fullness. Um, don't go to parties super hungry because you're going to eat with your eyes um, and all the things. You can bake with the seed fiber. Yeah, you can put it into cookies, put it in cakes, put it in anything. Um, fiber is not heat labile, right? Um so we also around the holidays tend to do a lot of more decadent cooking, more decadent baking and things. Don't taste test. Don't taste test along the way. The more that you can not be, you know, eating the batter as you're as you're cooking, the the better. Um, you take the lead and bring a healthy dish bring something that you know is going to be healthy and help you not to have um, a ton of, of weight gain, right? Um, choose your calories wisely. Where, where do you want them? Where do you want them? Because we tend to drink more alcohol and it's not just alcohol that has a ton of calories. So when you think about calories, think about this. Every gram of sugar as well as protein has four calories. Every gram of fat has nine calories. Every gram of ethanol also has nine calories. And ethanol is one of the only drugs known to man where you must take, I can't say it's one of the only drugs known to man. 
it is among a select group of drugs that are um that you have to you have to consume grams and grams of them to get any um any benefit i mean you think about and it's not even a benefit to get any effect um and so you think about like blood pressure medicines and things you can take five milligrams um versus a, a medication like vancomycin where you might need two grams but but alcohol you need like a lot you need 15 30 grams you know and so that's a lot more calories than you might be expecting and also you know i mean my goodness i'm from alabama and i remember there was that punch bowl at every single party that we ever went to and those punch bowls i mean i I remember making the, my family's, which was an entire canister of country time pink lemonade, right? No sugar there. And then you added in an entire half a gallon of pineapple sherbet. And then you topped it off with two, two liters of ginger ale. And I cannot tell you how many times I have had, we call it a paint punch, and we had it at every baby shower, every wedding shower, every, like all the things. And so, you know, you can rack up some calories in eggnog and in apple cider and all the things. Pint punch. Yes. Yeah, so good. So good. Do you guys follow on TikTok? There's a woman who is always making Minnesota salads that aren't really salads. And it's just her making like jello surprise and everything she makes is like you're gonna start with two boxes of jello and then you i mean it's ridiculous but also it's all of our childhood and so it's nostalgic i mean why we ever ate ambrosia someone send help i don't know um and so just be sure that you're that you're limiting those liquid calories um did you know that one of the reasons that you know how you, that feeling when you're like I can't eat another bite and then somebody passes around dessert and then all of a sudden you can eat again that is because our brain changes upon exposure to these new flavors right um and so when your brain shifts and goes oh we're no longer eating savory food we're eating sweet food because sweet food is so hard coded in our brain for survival, we will eat way too many sweets, way too many. Um, but that's just the way our brain is trained. And so don't eat dessert first. I know that's like a, a fun like thing to do, um, but don't. Um, and be limiting on the Midwestern mom. What's her name? You guys are, um, I think it's that Midwestern mom is what is her, is her Instagram. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's her. That Midwestern mom. This is her. And she always dresses up. She dresses up for it too. Um, there's also a, a country singer, and I'll have to think about her name, but her show is called Stand By Your Pan. And she makes the most ridiculously decadent food that you would never eat if you're wanting to avoid holiday weight gain. Um, limiting desserts. Um, you know, I think there's like a trend these days where we try to see just how unhealthy we can make food right? We can't just have pizza anymore. We have to stuff cheese inside the crust of the pizza and then wrap the pizza crust in pepperoni and dunk it in watermelon. In watermelon. In ranch dressing. I'm sorry. I'm staring at a canister of edge in front of me. Um, so yes, it, 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 this trend of making food as unhealthy as possible, like just don't do it. Like don't, you know, you can modify recipes to where you're, instead of using butter, you're using um, applesauce or pumpkin puree. It actually does work. Instead of sugar, maybe you're substituting um, stevia in there, um, or maybe you're going half and half because if you get too much stevia, it can kind of get bitter. Um, 
you can use dried fruit instead of instead of candy, instead of chocolate chips um, that can add at least some nutrition, especially if you're just using like milk chocolate chips and not even, you know, focusing on having something healthier. Um, so mix it up, modify, modify the recipes so that you're moving a little bit you're moving some of the calories out, right? And so I just interviewed a, uh, Dr. Stuart Faramond yesterday about the science of spices. And so spices can add a lot of flavor to food without having to add a ton of fat in there. Um, you can use things like vanilla extract, almond extract, peppermint extract instead of butter and sugar. Um, use club soda. Um, in in place of like a ginger ale or a, a tonic water kind of mixer if you can if you can stand it i i hate club soda like a lot um it just ugh, I, it's not my jam but some people can really really get into it and and love it um i have mixed emotions where do you guys stand on the scale and that's not a pun like what is your stance <laughs> on getting on the scale because on the one hand, the number on the scale is not everything. And then on the other hand, if the number on the scale is a really large one, it is alerting you to something. So I love, I love my scale only because I get a complete printout. I get a complete summary of not just my body weight, but also my BMI, my body fat, um, my body fat percentage, my fat-free body mass, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat is in there, body water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, um, my basal metabolic rate, amount of protein. I also love that it measures bone mass um, so that you can check that out. And then it gives you your metabolic age about, you know, how is your metabolism compared to other people your own age? Um, that scale is from a company called Renfo. Um, let me get you a link to it. It is. I know I every time I put this scale in my stories, everybody's like, I, I need the scale. Send me the scale. So there is that um see ya thanks for coming um so other ways that we can avoid holiday weight gain just you know avoid the processed foods right you know make make your mashed potatoes from scratch because who likes flaked mashed potatoes they're gross um plan ahead use the buddy system don't go in for seconds um or intentionally say i'm going to get less and i can always go back those are both those are both adequate strategies. And then it just comes down to discipline, right? It just comes down to having the discipline to take the, the next best step, the next best step. And one of the ways that you can prepare for your holidays as well as get prepared for um, any kind of January detox or cleanse that you're going to do is be sure that you've got your products on, on hand. So we've talked about digestive, we've talked about reboot, we've talked about sleep plus on this call. I also want to draw your attention to the transformation pack, which is the, it's a, it's one edge as well as one GBX Fit. And the transformation pack I like because GBX Fit is the world's first quad biotic that helps to support weight loss, um, reduce bloating and inflammation, helps with appetite and craving. Edge also is going to be there to help with your motivation and your mood and your metabolism. There's also with GBX Fit, as you take it over time, is going to have some anti-aging benefits and it also specifically helps to shred belly fat. And so GBX Fit contains four primary ingredients. The first is a is a probiotic, which is Lactobacillus plantarum DR7. 
that helps to reduce bloating and inflammation. And it also helps to increase dopamine levels. There's also a prebiotic that helps to reduce cravings, feed beneficial bacteria, restore the gut barrier. So if you've got somebody who's worried about leaky gut, you can think about GBX fit. Also think about omegas. Think about Vita GBX, which contains our vitamin D3, which is so important. And also consider the um, protein powders because those are going to contain your amino acid glutamine, which is a primary food source for the cells that line your gut. So keep those products in mind if people are interested in, in healing their gut lining. And you can also send people to learnamare.com slash 5R, and there is a free downloadable that will teach them how to um, how to heal up uh, their leaky gut. Okay, then in the GBX Fit, there is a phytobiotic in there as well that is organic orange peel extract, which is one of the most quintessential supplements in weight loss. Like you, you see it all the time. It's everywhere. And that is because the flavonoids that are in orange peel extract bust up fat. That's what they do. And they also help to reduce our stress eating. And so if you're going to a super stressful family event and you know, you're going to be around people that stress you out, maybe you do take a GBX fit before you head into the party, just so you're not as stressed throughout the evening. And then last but not least, there's the postbiotic, which is a heat killed bifidobacterium lactis BPL-1. This is where you get into the visceral fat. This is where you start getting into burning of visceral fat. And remember, you can out eat any supplement known to man, right? And so the program that goes along with um, GBX Fit is called the Eat, Sleep, Move program. And the link to it is right there on the GBX Fit landing page. Also, for anybody who is new, how many of you is this your first science call, right? How many is this your first science call? Welcome. Um, so I have um, a spoiler alert. I know I sound like a genius. All I am doing is reading you Amare's website in an entertaining way. That is all I am doing. Welcome all the first timers. Love it. So excited to have you all here. So on the GBX Fit landing page, there is the Eat, Sleep, Move program that helps you to understand what the product is, what are the ingredients, and how do we eat, sleep, and move throughout our day. Um, it does suggest an eight-hour eating window. But if you're not one of those people that can do that, then just don't do that. That's fine. Um, you can, you can get up, get moving first thing in the morning and the GBX fit is going to help give you, um, the, it's going to help to give you the, the results that you want, especially if you're moving and doing some interval training, some breath work, some jogging, all of the things as you move throughout your week. There's also in, there's also information about what kind of exercises to do, et cetera. And I'll tell you this, friends, if you want to stay a normal body weight your entire life, build muscle build muscle muscle is what it's a it's basically a sink for insulin and glucose and so that is um really good because the more sinks that we have for insulin and glucose the less likely we are to have insulin resistance and then the second um product in the transformation pack is the um, edge. And edge is a noetropic, which means that it's a brain fuel. Um, and it gives you motivation that you need to just get on the treadmill, go for the walk, don't eat the thing, right? So 
the thing I love about Edge is that you're going to recognize that it's working straight away. The mango leaf helps to support mental flow. Lychee fruit supports body and mind endurance. Palm fruit um, helps with neuron regeneration. And over time, the lychee fruit also can help to burn belly fat as well. The lychee fruit decreases fatigue while also allowing you to improve your endurance. And so you have lots of options um, to, to get that motivation going. You also will see edge in happy juice. So if you are someone that's like, I, I'm, I'm new around here, I just want to be sharing happy juice, just share happy juice, right? You can select the original Amare Edge, which is in a, a watermelon flavor, or you can choose the grape in the stick pack. So put it in the comments. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your favorite? Do you like the grape or the watermelon? And for those of you who might not have even gotten your products yet that you guys say this is our first meeting, um, which one are you most looking forward to, to trying? Um, Okay, so let's talk about things that when we start these new products, what are some things that we need to look out for, okay? So the most common side effect of GBX Fit is constipation. So if you know somebody who is constipated at baseline, they may want to try, they may want to do the three-day reboot before getting going. Um, also, the dosing instructions on the label, I find to be um, a little bit confusing. And so the dosing is one capsule in the morning with the option to take a second capsule in the evening. Some people say that they tend to take two in the morning and I think it increases the risk of constipation, right? Um, edge, the most common side effect that I hear from people is heartburn. And so if that is happening, I would suggest go down on the volume of water so that you're not having such a huge glass of water, which increases that risk of the reflux, or you can cut down on the dose. You can cut down on the dose. Um, and so I'm with Laura. I like both of the grape and the and the watermelon. I'm partial to the watermelon. Um, and grape mixed with superfood sounds really good. Um, superfood is another just unsung hero in the product line. Um, got tons of different botanicals um, and basically just tastes like apple juice by the time you're done mixing it up. It smells really bad when you open the canister and then somehow magically it like transforms. It must be a Gemini. It's such a shapeshifter. Um, but when you put it in water, all of a sudden it smells amazing and tastes amazing. Um so Helen, yes, happy juice. If you have never made your happy juice, um, there are a couple of ways you can do it. First, you can take one scoop of antibiotics, one scoop or one sachet of edge, depending on if you chose the watermelon or the grape. And then you add in one stick of your energy plus. And remember your energy plus um, the, the original has about, uh, 40 milligrams of caffeine. That is the pomegranate lime. And you can also choose the caffeine free, sugar free dragon fruit variety, um, to make it. Now, some people love doing this and some people are like, your measurements are off Elmore, but you can also make your life easier. Take an entire tub of mentabiotics and pour it in a jar. Then take an entire tub of, of edge and put it in a jar. Then empty out 30 stick packs of your energy plus and put that in the tub. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. And then just come in and get a scoop or two each time you make your happy juice, um, because you do want to consume your happy juice 
fairly soon-ish. Some people say you must have it within 20 minutes. Don't be that dogmatic. Nobody likes dogma. Um, but you want to be building your happy juice on a daily basis, I would say. So for big families that you're making an entire you know, container, uh, a pitcher of happy juice, you may want to just do all the combinations and just say, you know, it, it, it can be off a little bit. It's okay. So mentabiotics is your probiotic, prebiotic, phytobiotic supplement that is there to lower cortisol, raise dopamine and raise serotonin, as well as just repopulate the gut with good gut bacteria. It helps with stress. It helps with sadness. It helps with, um, feelings of anxiousness, et cetera. So, um, I did make a cart for today. If you are interested in just coming in and getting one transformation pack, I have that ready for you. Um, if you're already a member, you can use this shopping cart template to duplicate it and share it with your with your um, friends and family. This video will also be posted um, on YouTube um, in short order. I'll get it up there as quickly as I can. Um, and so that is all the content that I had planned for today. What other questions can I answer for you? And feel free to um, unmute. I just do have a hard stop at, at one minute till two. Um, Hi, Lindsay. Hey. Um, oh, I have a question. This is for Kel. Sure. Hey, what's up? Uh, so my problem area is my gut. Um, it makes extremely embarrassing sounds. Aww. And um, and um, if I had to choose an area that I want to work on most physically, that's my area as well. So um, I have the essentials pack on the way. Uh -huh. Anything else you would recommend? So let's go and look. Um, let me first be sure I get this cart since I know some of you are new and may not even know that making carts is a thing. Um, and so let me go remind myself what is all in the essentials pack and then let's chat. So in the essentials pack, you have your, you have the fundamentals pack, the mental fitness pack, the transformation pack. You have both great and watermelon edge, both energy pluses and digestive, um, and the reboot. So thinking about gut health, there are two. So the 5R protocol teaches you how to heal leaky gut. And one of the things that you have to do is to actually repair the lining of the gut. And so when you repair the lining of the gut, vitamin D is very important. That's in Vita GBX. Omega-3 fatty acids, such as those found in omegas, are also very important for helping uh, to, to soothe the lining of the gut. And then the third thing that comes to mind is L-glutamine, which is in the protein powders. Um, you guys, what's your favorite protein powder flavor? Um, Laura said that she took the protein powder and actually made it into hot chocolate yesterday, which I am going to do as soon as I'm off this call because I have not eaten today. Um, and I'm also going to, uh, sneak a snickerdoodle energy in there and make like a chocolate minty cinnamony vibe. Um, I'm a salted caramel girl. I love it. So those are the three products, Raquel, that kind of come to mind. And then Danielle, to your question, a lot of women who are pregnant or nursing avoid taking mood plus. I also, I, if I had not been using Ignite before I became pregnant, or as they say in Great Britain, before I fell pregnant. Um, and so you could also consider avoiding that one as well. The Kids Mood Plus, though, is safe for pregnancy and nursing. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, the reason I'm asking, um, I'm still nursing. My father, uh, long story short, he has uh, sensory issues and a feeding disorder. 
And so that's still how he gets some of the, uh, some of his nourishment stuff. And I just try to be real careful with that as well as I have a couple other friends who are nursing and whatnot as well. So, but as far as the edge, that's okay. Yes. People use edge okay. all the time and people use edge in very young children as well. Okay. And so um, how old is your toddler? Three. Just turn three. People use it in three-year-olds all of the time. Um, and okay. You know, the, the microbiome in a baby is really important. People use happy juice. Um, you guys, like three claps for Kids Mood Plus. I mean, how many of you have a testimonial with Kids Mood Plus? That stuff is amazing. So I think of Mood Plus as like the daily happiness kind of supplement. Kids Mood Plus is the like stop having a meltdown supplement. And the meltdowns go for both adults and for children. And so if you need to stop having a meltdown, some kids like it just like a pixie stick. Other kids like it. Um, other kids like it in water. Uh, you can mix it into your happy juice, all the things. So I, I absolutely love the, the kids mood plus. And Laura mentioned that you can catch Dr. Sean's interview about kids mood plus on ABC News. And for since there are so many people that are new, uh, just a reminder to go through um, all of the onboarding. Let me grab you a link to the link tree really quickly. And that will help you install your builder app um, and get you up to date. The difference between the Mood Plus and the Kids Mood Plus is night and day. So the Mood Plus contains four really powerful adaptogens. It's got um, Rafuma, Kana, Ashwagandha, and something else. Uh, rhodiola has got to be the other one. Um, and then the Kids Mood Plus is a saffron and rosemary based supplement. So dr dramatically different, um, dramatically different supplements um, just could not be could not be more, more different. Um, so we Lindsay, also I have a quick question. Sure. May I? Um, so I would love to take the, the adult mood plus, but it, it gives me a little bit of a heartburn. So I use the kids one. What in it do you think is causing that? I realize that's not going to happen for everybody. That's just my body. I don't know, but okay. you can, you can always mitigate the risk of heartburn or, um, stomach upset by taking supplements with food. So I do always. Yeah. yeah. I do always do that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So, um, all right, we will get together. Here's our upcoming call schedule. Um, and so, you know, we're going to talk next week about the modern undiet. We're going to talk specifically about preparing for a January cleanse. Uh, we won't have a call on the 29th. Then on January 5th, we'll be talking 2023 health trends, um, emerging evidence about the microbiome coming up, um, how toxic emotions are keeping you fat. And then we're talking about kids and sleep with um, our, our leader, Kelsey Brigman, who is a mom of two young kids. And then on February 2nd, we won't have a call. And then we're going to talk, we're going to talk into, start talking healthy heart. And then we're also going to talk about preventing and healing hangovers later on in February. So lots of interesting topics coming up. This is y'all's call. Please feel free if there's ever a topic that you want, or if you have people on your team that are nurses or naturopaths or all the things, um, please send them my way. I love doing interviews on this call as well as doing, doing the teaching. So, all right, guys, I'm over and out. I will see you guys same time, same time, same place, same link uh, next week. So invite all of your friends. Talk to you soon. Bye.